Leave. No. Sorry. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. He is supposed to be a trained service dog. Instead, he's a rambunctious puppy that barks at other dogs and people, making this disabled veteran's PTSD worse, not better. What a shame. She reached out to Team 10 to expose the nonprofit, and our investigator, Allison Ash, reveals the good intentions sometimes leading to bad outcomes. Wait. Wait. This way. Please. Stacy Thompson rarely takes her service dog, Reef, to the park because of this. Leave, no, sorry. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. So that is absolutely unacceptable for a service dog. That kind of reaction is exactly what Thompson doesn't need. If there's a distraction that he wants, he'll pull. That does not help my disability whatsoever. Thompson's disability stems from when she served in the Marines, not from combat, but from rape. She has PTSD caused by military sexual trauma, or MST. For Thompson, that means major anxiety issues that she says got worse after she brought Reef into her home in Oceanside last November. He would jump on me and put his paws on my back, and then he would start trying to mount my leg, which is... As an MST survivor, it is completely inappropriate. Reef was a gift from Labs for Liberty, raised here in the Utah countryside at Liberty Outpost. Thompson met the nonprofit's vice president at one of her motivational speaking engagements across the country. She was thrilled at the idea of having a companion to travel with her and keep her calm. But Reef isn't that companion. I didn't take Reef to a dog park. I didn't go for a walk at the pier or places where I think there's going to be another animal. I avoid. Reef's behavior got so bad, Thompson considered giving him back. But he'd become part of her family. I love the dog. I'm absolutely grateful for him, but I'm more grateful for the idea of paying attention to the, the reality that the veteran's mental health is the utmost importance. Labs for Liberty agreed to give Reef more training, Reef. but they also said Thompson was partially to blame because she wanted Reef when he was just eight months old. Labs for Liberty wanted to wait for his first birthday. Reef, look, regardless whether it was eight months or 10 months or 12 months, Reef was paired way too early and he didn't have sufficient training. Our veterans get that satisfaction of helping to polish their own dog. We believe no dog is ever fully trained. Just Joan Nold is founder and president of Labs for Liberty. She calls Thompson's yeah. frustration a misunderstanding okay. of expectations and claims Reef met all the basic training and ADA certification standards for a service dog, but he was still a puppy. And she kept assuring us that she could handle that, especially with our support. Although Nold claims the lines of communication were always open, Thompson says the support wasn't there no. until she found Carol Dupuy. When you give a dog to someone who doesn't know anything about dog training, Stay. then the dog follows her instruction. Mm -hmm. And it's, it doesn't work. Dupuis says Reef needs a good six to eight months before he'll be a service dog Thompson can count on. Down. Together. Stay. Thompson and Reef are determined to get there. Good luck. Stay. Good stay. Labs for Liberty has placed 45 service dogs with veterans in the past two years. They say with 95% success. Thompson says she knows of six others who also claim they have dogs that aren't fully trained, but we reached out to and were not able to talk to any of them. All right, devil's advocate, let's just say she did get the dog too early. Liberty still certified the dog, right? Right, and Liberty says that, uh, that, they, um, that they can certify a dog it, depending on every dog. Everyone's a little bit different. But what is really interesting here is it's so confusing. There's really no set certification for any of these dogs. I made a whole bunch of calls around and found out that um, that in this case, and in many cases, they like them to be about two years old, especially if it's a lab, because they're puppies for a lot yeah. longer than a lot of other dogs. And we all want it to work because we feel for the veteran, right. and in this case, we feel for the dog too. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. tough one. Getting some training though, so that Carol is helping her do that, and she's doing it free of charge. Okay. Good That's news. That's great, thank you, Allison. Nice job.